Okay, guys, listen up. Maintaining a good testosterone level is vital for men who want to have a strong overall health, sex drive, and well-being. We hear a lot about testosterone. Dr. Siegel, uh, what should we do? I mean, take supplements, shots? Why is it important? Well, it, it, what we should do is have our doctor check this, and we, have a, we need awareness about this because testosterone decreases by 1 to 3 percent every year, guys, after the age of 30. And it can be responsible for your fatigue, it can make you prone to diabetes, it can make you anemic, it can cause you with problems with your cholesterol. There's so many, and libido, not to mention libido. So I, as a physician, primary care, have to be checking it. I've got to do a careful examination to make sure that there are any changes. And I look for obesity, weight gain, for low testosterone. Now, what do I do if I find the problem? I'll tell you one thing I don't do. I don't use these supplements. Something like fenugreek, which we're talking about this week, has actually been studied and not shown to be helpful in boosting testosterone. Not to mention the fact, Eric, that I don't believe patients should go around just taking supplements without doctors prescribing them. What I do is I refer a patient like that to a urologist, like Dr. Samadhi, who's more of an expert in the field and can decide if they need a testosterone replacement or not. You know, David, I mean, you go to the doctor and you get the whole list of stuff, you don't know what half of it is. Do they do this as a routine check it's not eric it's not part of the routine uh, mm. lab that you get yeah but you should check your testosterone and what's important is testosterone level is usually high early in the morning the peak is at 5 a.m of course you're not going to go to your doctor at 5 a.m but check it around eight nine o'clock because by three or four the level of testosterone goes down if you get an abnormal lab, always repeat it again. But to go back to what Mark just mentioned, male menopause exists. It's not just for women. And it's very gradual, and that's one of the reasons why we don't talk about it exactly like, like women do, that's very sudden. The truth is that with age and obesity, those are the two factors why the testosterone goes down. Fat around the stomach sucks up the testosterone, and that's where it gets converted to all the good hormones. So weight loss is extremely important in exercise. Age, you know, there's nothing you can do about it except check. But the testosterone is important for heart health. It's ex extremely important for libido and sex drive. So you really want to be in touch. You see a lot of people that are fatigued. They don't want to do anything. They just sit there and depression comes. So the sooner you fix it. And, but, and how do you fix it? What's the best way, do you think? Well, you really have to talk to your doctor. You know, there was always a discussion in the urology field. If you are, have genetic family of prostate cancer, should you be going on these kind of testosterone? You know what? That brings up a chat question, because i got to tell you, the live chat going on on our oh, website good. is going nuts on this topic. As you can imagine, it's important for so many men and women. And here's a viewer question we wanted to ask you to answer on the air. Um, this, this viewer says, I had my prostate removed after early discovery of cancer and my prostate only. My sex drive is much lower than I'd like. My PSA levels have remained extremely low, almost negligible. Is it safe for me to now take testosterone? Well, thank you very much for the email. This is a really excellent kind of question that we deal with clinical patients that we have to, we see in our practice all the time. Look, you have to treat every individual patient individually. If it's some, I look at the pathology. If the margins are negative, meaning the cancer is completely gone, we look at the PSA, we look at the type of prostate cancer that this person has, and if it's all good, then I would consider giving them testosterone. There's a big debate in the field of urology. Most urologists are now uh, agree that giving testosterone probably won't hurt the patient unless it's a very aggressive prostate cancer and the PSA has not gone down, etc. Talk to your urologist and not just touch this on your own. One more point on that is if you are on testosterone and you do have a history of prostate cancer or you have a risk, you, make sure you're being checked. Yeah. And that's right, make that's sure you check your point. PSA. Don't just say, I'm on this, now I'm fine. See a urologist, get your PSA. And check your level as early as in your 30s. It's so interesting, wow. doctors. Thanks for bringing up that topic. Doctors, we hope it was helpful to everyone.